Mira, I live in a digital society of Estonia. I use my electronic ID card to access public and private services online, like uh, filing my taxes and checking my son's progress in school. My husband has used his card to register his new business, my father to apply for a farming subsidy, and my mother to view her health records at home. And I can pick up her medications using my card. So our lives have become so much easier. This is not the future, but already everyday life for our 1.3 million residents in Estonia. Our advanced digital society offers services in many fields like health, education, voting and so on. And all these services make uh, life easier, more convenient, more efficient for everybody. Our national information system is built on extra technology, which connects together data from all parts of government as well as with the private sector. X-Road safeguards information to protect uh, integrity and privacy, but at the same time it is very easy to add new services. National employment registries enhance worker rights and social benefit regulation. Estonia's electronic employment register makes it easy for organizations across the country to register their employees using the online, phone, text, machine-to-machine -machine methods. It integrates with other agencies using the X-Road to speed services and eliminate duplications, helping us to improve employment verification and increase tax collections. Providing urgent assistance in an emergency is a prime concern for us. Our new emergency response system, which we implemented in cooperation with IT and Development Center of the Estonian Ministry of the Interior, establishes good foundation for using the response time between answering emergency calls and the arrival of emergency services at the scene. There is better collaboration between all emergency services and we are able to save more lives. We now administer a large number of rural and agricultural subsidies digitally, saving time for our farmers and for our paying agency. We are also able to make GIS data about fields and livestock buildings available to Estonian and EU agencies, students, journalists, scientists. These advances are helping to improve Estonian agriculture and beyond. This all is just the beginning for us in E-Estonia, and we are working to improve our people's lives even more. Our digital strategy has been possible because of deep collaboration between our public sector and private sector and our eager citizens. Together, we are very happy to share our story with you and help you start your digital journey.
Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and truth sincerity. All right, as you can see on the screen, this is a response to the uh, Apostle Ramla's video on uh, electronic currency in the country of Estonia. All right. And through the video, you know, you can see what's going on. You know, they have access to medical records. You can access, uh, you can see what's going on with your, your child at school. You can vote. You can file your taxes all using this electronic card. And this is all le leading up to the uh, Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID chip. Okay, because soon enough, uh, this country, E-Estonia, as they call it now, E-Estonia, all right, is the technology is going to advance into the Mark of the Beast. Then they're going to start telling the residents, well, you know, we're going to have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of thefts going on with these electronic cards. You know, you got a lot of hackers out here in the cyber world who are making up false identities. And, and pretty much these governments that are going to start establishing these electronic governments are going to basically say, hey, look, we got this NFC chip. All right. You're going to have to uh, put it inside of your uh, right hand, your left hand, your forearm, your forehead. And that way it can't be your identity can't be stolen. All right. Because these electronic cards, there's going to be some way where the narrative is going to be, hey, these cards are getting stolen. Hackers are, are stealing these cards, making up their own identities. Therefore, we're going to have to implant this NFC chip, the same NFC chip that's being used in Sweden, okay, which is the mark of the beast. The RFID chip, they call it in Europe the NFC chip. All right, so this is a scripture concerning Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Okay, this man's technology, all right, making a electronic currency, national ID cards. All right, that's even happening um, here on this side in Jamaica, you know, where they're having uh, electronic cards to um, recognize people. And all of this is soon coming to America, your beloved United States of America, especially for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the dollar's getting worse and worse. Okay. These other countries are switching to gold, the different petrol standards. This is what you're seeing here in America, man. This dollar is going down. And these other countries are going to adopt what Estonia is doing, okay? Through Esau Edom, the so called white man's technology. Okay. It's not hard to figure out that this dollar is going down if you do the research and you do the history. Any other empire has failed, just like the Roman Empire failed with their Daenerys, all right? This United States currency, this dollar will fail, all right? So this man is developing technology to lead up to the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, all right? So all this technology that's making people lazy, you know, people don't want to open up doors anymore. Uh, people are, you know, through uh, Uber, Uber Eats, all right, they're too lazy to get their ass up to even go up to the store to get to, to get themselves some junk food. All right, this is the side that you live in. People are dumbed down from the uh, Florida and the water, the chemtrails, the GMOs, the Monsanto foods. And this is what it's coming to. You know, a lot of people are just dumb and stupid nowadays, man. If you try to ask them about 1776 and how this country was so-called formed, they couldn't even tell you. They couldn't even tell you what the Boston Tea Party is about. Okay, they can't take you, tell you about the War of 1812, the, the French and Indian Wars, so on and so forth. These people are stupid, man. These people can't even say please and thank you anymore. Okay? So this is the type of society that we live in where everything is being made electronic to fit people's needs because they're lazy and it's going to lead up to the RFID microchip. A lot of people are going to take this chip because they're just lazy, man. All right. So um, I'm just going to get a quick scripture on what the mark of the beast is, man. Revelation 13 and 16 says, 
and the cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And let's look into uh, Mark. Mark 13. Mark 13. All right, it's Karagma which means a stamp or an imprinted mark. That's what happens when you take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Strong G, 5480, Haragma, Haragma. Haragma, a stamp and imprinted mark. Of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers, followers of the anti-anointed, which people call the anti-Christ. All right, the mark branded in horses. So these elites... They're planning, to, they're planning to brand you like horses, like sheeple, man. They call you people sheeple. And they're planning to brand you with this RFID microchip like animals, man. Okay? Because there's going to be a great culling here in America. Look that word up. All right? Thane carved sculpture graven work or of idolatrous images. Okay? This is what these elites are planning to do. You see the dollar's going crashing. The dollar's going to crash, but it's going down. It's, it's weak. You know, they're printing out more Federal Reserve notes, and the currency is losing value. Not only that, or these other countries are doing trades with other countries not using the United States dollar. Okay, so these elites plan to uh, do false flag terrorist attacks or cause these natural disasters because they, in their mind they think they're the most high. Okay. With this chip, they can control everybody, all right? Verse uh, 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and 600, and his number is 600, three score, and six, all right? So this is the consequence for taking this. Revelation 14 and 9, and the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, which is the mark of the beast in his forehead or his hand, or no matter where you get it, if you get it in your chest, it doesn't matter. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Either you're going to get hit with the laser beams of the chariots, what they call so-called UFOs, when the man who you call Jesus Christ, real name Yahushua, comes back, or you're going to be destroyed by these uh, nukes that these countries have, like North Korea, China, Russia, even the United States allies like Great Britain and, and Turkey. So this is the consequence for taking this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, best believe what's happening in Estonia is coming to the shores of America, man. Everything's going to be made electronic. They're going to be able to track you, but they're going to be able to get away from these national ID cards and use the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. It's already here, okay, already in Wisconsin. All right, these people don't do research, especially our so-called people. All right, so with that, I want to say shalom.